Hi guys, I'm Cole, Lake Erie Prepper. I just went through some items in my bug out bag and said I was going to come back and do a couple knife reviews for you. Um, I got this from my grandfather and it's like the neatest thing I've seen in, in a while. Um, it's got, you know, it's got a sheath on it, nice leather sheath. With a, clap, a button, a clip, and a clip on the back for your pocket. You pull it out, you think it's a gun, right? Oh, not. It is a knife. That's right, a knife. It is from a company called United. UC55 UC stainless steel. It locks in there. I mean, it's, I think it's probably more of a novelty item than, you know, made for purpose, but, I mean, it's got a sharp blade on it. I've used it to cut a few things up. Um, it's got a nice wooden handle on it. Place for your fingers. I don't know. What do you think? I think it's cute. It's. I got pretty decent sized hands for a girl. And it's, you know, pretty long. I just thought it was cute and I thought I needed to share it with you guys. What do you think? And then to release the knife, you just cock it. <laughs> and there, down it goes. Fits right in the palm of my hand. Stick it back in its sheet. And people would think you're carrying a gun. Pretty nifty, I think. Grandpa's got all kinds of cool gadgets. You'll hear me mention him a lot when it comes to knives and hatchets and machetes and all kinds of stuff. He's a knife and gun connoisseur. Next, I have a hatchet. This was given to me by my grandfather also. It had... A different handle on it or maybe he got it without the handle I'm not quite sure but he made a handle for it he carved out that wood and glued it on there one side did fall off once and it had a crack in it and uh, we had to gorilla glue it back together but it hasn't fallen apart since then got a little leather lanyard on it so don't fly off your wrist when you're using it it's got a nice sheath on it and it says design by Sue Mir I think it's Vibin Knives is who it's by. Sue Hill. Sheath comes off. Could do some damage with that. It does well split in wood. I'll, I'll give it that. I've had this on my pack for quite some time now. I had to bust it out and use it, obviously. I busted the handle off of it. <laughs> Not bad. This was my very first hatchet that I ever had. And this next knife, I absolutely love this knife. It's a pocket knife. It's a fairly big pocket knife. But look look at the look at the coloring and the design on that wood. That's just beautiful I just love it Ooh, it's nice stainless steel clicks back nice it's by Carolina which I have a couple knives by Carolina and I absolutely love them it's nothing spectacular but it's sharp super sharp uh, the tips not very sharp on it but the blade is pretty sharp. 
It's a pretty decent sized blade on it. And the whole knife is pretty decent. And like I said, I'm sorry I don't have prices on any of these, but you know, the names on them, you can look them up. This is nice because the wood actually comes out. It like bubbles in the middle on both sides. You can see that bubble in the middle. And it it, it gives you a nice grip on it. And that's, I think, why I like this knife a lot. Because it has a decent sized handle on it. And it feels really good in your hands. And the blade is pretty long too. Um, this is more of a knife that I would keep like in my car or someplace handy to where I would use it. It's a little heavy to carry in your pocket. But I keep this in my bug out bag because... A, it's sentimental to me because it came from my grandfather, and it's one of my favorite knives that he gave me uh, by Carolina. Carolina. So, if you want to check out Carolina online, darn lighting, Carolina. There you can see a little bit. They have some pretty good uh, knives, and it closes with the doohickey on top which I like I don't like it when you have to do it in the middle and then close it that's just too many fingers in the way it's just a lot easier to click a button on top and push it down so tell me what you think of those like again I'm sorry I don't have prices just names but these are some of my earlier day first knives that I've had given to me by my grandfather. Alright, uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Hope you're all doing well. We'll go through some more items in the bug out bag pretty soon. And I'm waiting on some more packages to come in the mail. I'm getting anxious. I've been waiting on this one knife to come for... It's been at least a month and a half now. I'm starting to get a little irritated because it's not here yet. And I've asked about it two or three times and have not been responded to. So this seller on Amazon is not going to get a very good rating from me. And usually I give great ratings. Alright, my rant is over. You guys have a good night. Keep on keeping on. Nicole from Lake Erie here. Have a good night. Bye guys.